Okay, so we're rolling because we're here at Goals with Brad. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Brad Rowe. You can follow me at Brad B. Rowe on Instagram, and that's about my only social profile. Yes, and today we are going to have this one with us and that little guy there, too. <laughs> and Francis. <laughs> Francis is with us. And just a really quick run through, and we're going to deep dive into this more along the workout when we're doing it. But what, I just want to hear first, what got you into this? What got me into this? Uh, yes. So I was actually doing a photo shoot for gas, and I ruptured my bicep, helping the photographer move a tire. And this company was there, and they were like, "It's because it's a rehab device. They're like, hey, you know, we'll take care of you. We'll send you a machine when you go through surgery to help facilitate the recovery. So I had distal bicep surgery. They sent me the machine. 14 weeks post-op, I stepped on a pro stage and took fifth um, after having after being told that I basically wasn't gonna be able to lift for six months. So this allowed me to rehab and it allowed me to train the bicep without putting too much pressure on the tendon itself and I was able to stay in shape. So after that, I was like, wow, this device is absolutely amazing. How can I bring this in my life? So I ended up purchasing one. I got went out and got certified to be a practitioner and I was kind of the first one to really bring this type of technology into the physique world because this was truly, it's, it's a medical device to get people to recover from major injuries. We can help fix neurological deficiencies, which has caused overuse and imbalance within the bodies. We work with like people like Parkinson, stroke, MS, but there's other applications in hypertrophy and performance training, and I was kind of the first one to bring that in. So um, everybody thought I was a snake oil salesman. You know, it's about <laughs> five years ago. Luckily, I was best friends with like Sean Roden, Dexter Jackson, and all those guys. They're like, hey, if Brad's behind it, we believe it, and the rest is history. So you guys kind of like teamed up and to show the world that this is actually part of the bodybuilding community now. Yes. And I actually do remember the first time I went into Golds and really trained, like 2017, yeah. with him actually on our first vacation here together. And I think you were here too. I was here. Oh, yeah. yeah. And walking around with this. And I was like, this around. Well, yeah. that, what is that, that weirdo? <laughs> well, and that, shortly after we did our first EMS training, I think it was called in Sweden. Yeah. Like, yeah. But we were more like in the group class setting, so it was way more simplified than what you were doing. Yeah. And everyone was just like geared up and standing like this. And different weight. technology too. Yes. Definitely. And, you, and you're going you're gonna to feel that today. And we'll get a little further and see what makes this device and this technology different from almost all the other technologies that you see out there, which is why people think it's snake oil because that other technology doesn't work from a hypertrophy standpoint. Sweet, so we wanna hear so, more about that. So make yeah. sure to actually follow him along because his way of working is really interesting. I look up to this guy immensely. And I also know that you just this year have gotten two people to get to the pro card, pro yep. card which yep. is dope. So yeah. I am super stoked to get into this workout. It's a little bit busier than I thought. I know, for a uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, but hey, yeah, whatever. enjoy we, it. We're gonna roll with it, and yeah. I hope that you guys can hear as well. And we're gonna get out there, so yeah, let's go. One pad at the top of the glute line here and then we're gonna paste another pad at the bottom of the hamstring here. Um, so that's gonna activate the entire posterior chain here. I'm super excited, <laughs> yay. There's a little nervous excitement to it. Yes, I'm like, okay, I'm okay with pain. Let's see what right. kind of level of pain this is gonna turn well, out. That's the beauty of this is, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of fill you in. So it, it's gonna feel more like a vibration. What you felt previously on that other device yeah. was like this pulsation of the muscle, like this yes. consistent contraction. Yes. So that's different because that that affects the motor units, the afferent system. Yeah. So that's forcibly causing contraction. Where this signal is DC current, and this affects the efferent system. We're affecting the sensory system. So we're sending a signal that actually mimics our body's nervous system signal into the body and you might get a couple of pulsations of the muscles and that's yeah. because the mechanoreceptors within our muscles are receiving this signal and they're not sure what's going on so they kind of like will pulse and react yeah but the signal that we're going to send to start is actually a signal that's telling tissue to relax and lengthen and release so we're loosening up so that's why this is so great from the rehab standpoint because the ac current is actually forcing it it's making so everything tighter right. so if you have yeah. an injury 
you're, you're making everything tighter. Where yeah. this is loosening it up, we're gonna increase blood flow, nutrient flow to the area. Which I do really need in my glutes and my hamstrings. There we so go. this is gonna be awesome. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, one, you're feeling the vibration, 10's the worst pain you could ever imagine. Yeah. We wanna get you to a five. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna start turning you up. Tell me when you feel the vibration. I'm feeling the vibration. Okay. Now, I would say a five, something you're like, holy shit, that's annoying, but I can deal with it. Okay, now I'm starting to really feel it. Okay. Um, but I mean, pain, I have kind of a that's high good. threshold. The, the more you can take, listen, there, there's, you can never get hurt with this, so exactly. it's not taking too much. Um, but He's we do, good. but we need to find a place where it's comfortable and you can just yeah. breathe normally and you can sit with it. Exactly, and when I actually can use it and right. like use my muscles, right. and, yeah. All right, so that's our baseline. Yes. So we'll start out good. the first set here on hamstring curls yeah. at that lengthening signal because we just want to loosen up. We want to get everything going. So the yeah. first couple sets, we're going to go with the lengthening signal. And then we change the frequency. So right now, we're setting a frequency of 500 pulses per second. But if I drop you down, you can feel that thump, 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 yep. thump, yep. thump. So that's five pulses per second. For hypertrophy training, we want to train at about 55 pulses per second. So that range between 55 and 100 is we use for hypertrophy. All right. When I work with some of my performance athletes, I have some college and NFL football yeah. players, things I work with. When I do performance work, we're at about 160. So I'll put these on their legs and I'll have them do box jumps, sprints, plyometric work, things like that. And then as we went back to, this is the frequency for like lengthening, yeah. for our rehab and stuff like that. So we'll it's always- really good. <laughs> right, so we'll always go back to the 500 in between. So okay. you're always gonna be at this baseline. Yeah. And then when we do our working set, I change the frequency, we up the intensity a little bit. And then in between, I drop you back down to kind of relax, loosen things up, increase blood flow and nutrient yeah. flow. I have a very big feeling that this is something that I'm gonna get super addicted <laughs> to. She's gonna buy one. You guys will be buying one next week. Yeah. Let's give me 15, warm them up. It feels so good. <laughs> so you told me you have been an athlete your entire life. Yes. So what was the first sport? Uh, football was my first mm. love. I mean, I was a three-sport athlete as a kid, football, baseball, basketball, played all the way through high school, went to college, played football in college, um, and then bodybuilding kind of fell into my lap. And it was kind of my second shot of the pro career. Yeah. Three more. Good. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the intensity up to, let's get to about a six or seven on the pain scale. Okay. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Let's get another 15. Nice. <laughs> it's like this you, extra you, dimensional you level. You feel this extra <laughs> yeah. contraction, but, but also like there's a sense of security. Yes, like I agree. Things feel stable when you're doing it as well. Yeah, it just feels like Huh, this is something more than it usually is. Yeah. And I feel like I'm so there. Like I am really big on mind to muscle connection. I right. rather like A to B has never been my thing and I really want to feel everything. Yeah. This just adds another like top layer of that. Yeah. So for me, Good. this is like, yeah. ah. <laughs> do you miss competing? I mean, I get that question a lot. So I just want to. You know, I, I miss some of the structure and regimen of it. I miss yeah. the purity of bodybuilding, but I was also driven because I was a, just a different human at the time. Yeah. And I no longer align with those goals yeah. in my life, you know? That makes sense. So, yeah. you know, like I, I posted a meme last night that I, I trained and I, because I like to exchange emotional pain for physical pain. Yeah. I didn't know how to deal with my emotional pain, so you put but it I in. knew how to beat the living shit out of myself. Yeah. And that's why I was a great athlete. Yeah. And now I know how to deal with emotional pain. And now I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to kill myself like that. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like we talked about, I'm nonstop all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. Do, but I do it, hot yoga, I train, but like I yeah. don't need to beat myself to a pulp like I used to. Yeah, and you don't want to feel miserable because you beat the living crap right. out of yourself every right. day because of a factor of being in an emotional level that's not yeah. sustainable. Yeah, yeah. I, I get yeah. what you're saying. You get it. <laughs> I totally get it. All right, let's get another one in. Same let's weight. Let's go a little heavier. heavier. Yeah. yeah, challenge yourself a little more. Like I said, so 
The intensity of this workout probably isn't gonna look too crazy because quite frankly, if I pushed her through a really hard workout, she would end up with rhabdo. And that's something we want to avoid. Yeah. And that's one of the problems and why you need to find an educated practitioner when it comes to these devices is because you can easily give someone rhabdo mm -hmm. the first couple sessions. So we train at like 60 something percent for the first couple weeks until you can build up that tolerance level yeah. before we can really push it. Yeah. So. No, and I also think like, yes, since you're also a former athlete and I also am like the person that I always go, 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 go. I always want to like over exert myself. I want to prove something to myself. Yeah. I don't <laughs> even know what right. it is that I want to prove. But <laughs> honestly, it's not always about working out with the highest intensity. Right. It's about working with the most like right. purpose. 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 I'm here, intent. I'm doing it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. This is great. All right. Okay. Three, four, five. Good. So she's getting up to 40 on the intensity, which is pretty impressive. And I'll just, a, a little caveat is it's not just on like your pain tolerance. It's also like how strong your nervous system is. Mm -hmm. So I've worked with like some elite CrossFit athletes that we would get up to 10 on here and one little click, their whole bodies are like this jumping. And then I'll get these like little 90 pound yogi chicks and I'll crank it up to a hundred and they're just like, oh, that's it, that's all you got. <laughs> so it's just truly like how grounded you are in your nervous system. Yeah. Also with like a little bit of pain tolerance. Okay. So, all right, let's jump out and we'll do some lying leg curls. It's really nice because it's really not, as, as you explained, it's not like that you're feeling the contraction. It is, that it's just like, you're so there, you're so tuned in. And I freaking love that. Three, one, two, three. Uh -huh. Good. There you go. Holy schmoly. <laughs> Fight the negative. There you go. I'll have you fire up and I'll fight the negative down. Good. Last one, fight it, fight it. There you go. Ugh. Good. It was tough. It really, I love this feeling. Yeah. This one, I don't think I've ever used this one. You've never used this? No. This is the best glute machine in Gold's Gym, in my opinion. Because someone like you, who I'm sure is pretty quad dominant. Yes. You're, when, when we do a kickback or a push, we put, our quads are moving so much. Yep. With this, it's a hinge up. So there's no quad involved whatsoever. So all we're doing is getting the glute hinge out of it. So then I'm gonna start doing this. 15, you got it. So just like you're trying to kick your knee up over your head. I mean, your, your heel up over your head. There you go, just like that, perfect. Perfect. You got it. Good. Thrust your hips forward, squeeze the glutes. So go there and then come forward and then squeeze glutes. Good. you can do in 15 reps, you know, typically for me is like heavy enough where you can really push yourself, but yeah. high enough where you're not really gonna elicit injury and damage. I totally agree about that. Yeah. It's just always, 
it's always fun to hear people's thought process about the, the rep ranges. Yeah. Because everyone has so many different ideas. Yeah. And that's very exciting, yeah. I think. See, I've never, I mean, I mean, when I had to like lift for power, I hated that like six to eight rep range. I just, I don't know, I, I love, I, I wouldn't call myself a volume trainer either because I lifted fucking heavy. Like yeah. I was like, and I was a freak. So I was a guy that was squatting like six plates each side for like 12 to 15 reps, you know? So like <laughs> volume, but like yeah. moving a lot of weight, yeah. you know? So that, that's kind of always been my approach. Yeah, no, I, I like that. I love also to feel the repetition. Like I have the hardest time to do three to six. I haven't done that in, I don't know how many yeah. years. As, as well as I have a really hard time only training 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah. It's like both yeah, of those hard. are yeah, like yeah, wild yeah. in my in my opinion. But yeah. I wish I one day would get there. Yeah. Because I don't believe the more it's merrier, it just kind of happens no, because right. I'm so obsessed yeah. of being here. Not here. No. Like it's just in that moment. Listen. In the moment, the lifting weights. It's um you know it's funny as I am very spiritual and, yeah. and I met with this one of the world leading spiritual healers in the world. And he came to me before I even got to say anything. He's like, listen, he's like, he's reading my aura and everything. He's like, the gym is your ultimate form of meditation. Yes. He's like, that's why you've always been addicted to it. He's like, that's the only place you can escape here. That's exactly is when you're in here, yeah. you know? And there's very few places in my life that I can, I can run away from this being 100 miles an hour. Yeah. It's like being on a motorcycle, being on a boat in the ocean, and kicking my ass in something athletic. Yeah. And that's no. the only place that this slows down, so. Yeah. For me, that this is also the only place where I have space enough to zoom in. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's very crowded up here. Yeah. Extremely yeah. crowded and loud. Yeah. Loud. People are like, I got addicted to hot yoga. Like, hot yoga is my favorite thing in the world now. Yeah because I can't push myself how I wanted to in the gym because I'm trying to downsize. Yeah. And I know that if I still train as hard, this muscle is never gonna go. So yoga allows me to push myself. Like every class, like I'm on the verge of puking because you can, you can like, you can push yourself in yoga in every single pose as hard as you want. It's yeah. up to you. So it's like an hour without my phone, shut this thing off and I get to challenge myself. And that's why it's like my biggest we obsession. Do hot yoga though. I'll drag you guys. Yeah. I'll drag you guys to one of the classes. Yes. Yeah, yeah bring in his guest pass. I love introducing people to it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys see my sweat? I'm sweaty. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, for the first one, but then yeah. I think I can get cockier along the way. Once you get moving, if you want to take more, just say up. Okay. And I'll crank you up. Feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Feel full gluteal contraction. I think this is the favorite so far because I can really feel how much it actually helps. Yeah, isolation. Helps. Yeah. Yeah. All All right. Right, like crank it, crank now let's, that baby up. I love electrocuting people, so let's uh, let's crank it up. Yep. Right there. There you go. Yep. 60, 60. Okay. So you're up 20 points higher than you were earlier. You got it. That was fun. Right. <laughs> Damn I mean, I should have done that earlier. See, that's why I like... But could you see how this leg just kept yeah, get the moving? Yeah, yeah, pitching out. See, I, like, <gasps> when I first got this, I always wanted to start a YouTube called The Faces of New Fit, because like, when you first hook people up to this, and you turn it on, they're like, like, they're like what? They have no yeah. idea what to expect. You took it like a champ, but most people are very <laughs> reactive to start. <laughs> yeah, well, this last one I couldn't handle. Yeah. So <laughs> I you had at least it. get one in there. Yeah. Ooh. That was really fun. <laughs> I'm really feeling my glutes now, actually. Uh, there you go, free. Thank you. That was so fun. <laughs> I'm gonna actually be. How's the pump? How's the pump? Feel it out. Oh my walk God. it out. Walk it out. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you pump that? <laughs> I could hardly move. First, I was cocky, but yeah. Can you see the pump? 
so, oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm already sore. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. After 25 sessions working with me, <gasps> 2018, Mr. Olympia. Oh, no way. Literally revitalized his career and his legs. Yeah. That That is fucking insane. Yeah. All right, so I have one more trick. <laughs> I have one more question for you. Fire. So let's say that, like me, is a total newbie coming to you and wanted yeah. to do this. How often would you recommend them to actually start using a machine like this? Is it every day or is it more like... Every no, it's, it's, it's going to be dependent. Like, what is your issue? You know, is, is it like one specific body part? Is it trying to connect throughout your entire body part? Um, you know, is it, is it a rehab session? So it, it's really dependent on what your, your issue is. So I'm like, you, you wanted to get glutes in. You know, maybe it's just once every two weeks where you just get that extra activation because you are going to improve neural pathways with this. Yeah. So the next time you train, you're actually gonna have a little better connection. Than the time before. Right, oh. right. So, so you can kind of stack this, like say if finances or things like that aren't, aren't there, you know, you can do this so it's like kind of like once every other time yeah. to give you that little boost and then you just kind of work off of what we had kind of built up for that. No, that's really nice. So there's like really no, since this is very more like a rehab kind of thing, you were saying like, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it also ha can be every day if right. the person needs like say, it. Like say if you had an injury, yes. like if you had a shoulder injury we were trying to fix, yeah. then we want to get in like every three days because we're trying to fix neural pathways yeah. so I can actually find neurological deficiencies through the scanning process. Yeah. And when we're trying to fix those neurological deficiencies, yeah. there's a compounding effect. So like sessions every three to four days yeah. will fix that. Yeah. So uh, yeah. That's what I think the cameraman would need. You need? Okay. So. All right. <laughs> We'll take I think I'm going to see more of Rad, I it's think. It's all right. We got you guys. Um, but thank you so much for wanting to join me for a session or take me through a session. I'm really happy about it. Thank you for being open and, and wanting no, to try this, new things. This is awesome. And I think that I'm going to want to have some more. <laughs> a couple here or there. You. Yeah. Um, so, guys, make sure to follow him along and also send him a DM or anything if you need to set up a session with him because, trust me, it's going to be worth it. I it appreciate is. it. I really feel it. And we didn't go for, like, Crazy amount of exercises, not crazy amount of sets and reps. Yeah. But I'm, I feel it. Like I really. Do like I said, it. you have to do an update like Monday night or Tuesday morning yeah. when you're that sore, because like you're gonna I'm, hate me. I, I'm she's already, gonna hate me. Yeah, I'm already feeling this, so I can only imagine. Like Monday night when she goes to pee and she's like, Ferris falls down. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be like this. Yeah. And I'm gonna text him and say, I hate you. Yep. So there's one more thing that I always do when I end my videos, okay. and it's to say, call their best. Call. Call. Dead. Dead. Best. Best. That is like, hot day have best. A, yeah, have a good time or have a great day or something. I love like that. it. Okay. So, bye guys. Hot day best. Hot day best. Think about the ways to get my bread up. Trying to see the change.